convex lens. It is also known as converging lens. It is thick in middle and thin at edges. The diameter of circular edge of the lens is called aperture. Here AB is the aperture. When a ray of light passing through a particular point on the principal axis goes undebited. This point is called optical center and it is represented by O. First principal focus is a point on the principal axis of the lens when a ray diverging from it after refracting from the lens go parallel to the principal axis. Here F1 is the first principal focus. Second principal focus is a point on the principal axis of the lens when an incident ray parallel to the principal axis after refraction from the lens meet at this point. Here F2 is the second principal focus. The distance between the optical center O and one of the principal focus of the lens is called focal length. Here we need to obtain the image of a distant object on the screen. When you look at the window, you can see the tree which is at distant object face the lens toward the distant object and obtain its inverted image on the screen. Once you got the inverted image, move the lens forward and backward until you get the sharp image. Now with the help of scale, measure the distance between the lens holder and the screen which is nothing but the rough focal length. Here it is 10 cm. Consider a convex lens and mount it on the optical bench at a convenient position. Now place a object needle at 1.5 times of rough focal length of the given convex lens. By adjusting the position of the object needle, you will observe an inverted image of the object needle on the other side of the lens. Now we need to place the other needle on the optical bench and consider it as a image needle. Adjust the position of the image needle until you find the image of the object needle on the top of the image needle. Now the distance between the object needle and convex lens is considered as U. The distance between image needle and convex lens as V. Now you can see here on the optical bench प्लेन मिरर कॉन्वेक्स लेंस और ऑब्जेक्ट नीडल माउंट कर दिया है तो यहाँ पे हमको सबसे पहले फोकल लेंथ फाइंड करना होगा तो ऑब्जेक्ट नीडल को हम स्लोली स्लोली फॉरवर्ड और बैकवर्ड मूव करा के उसका इन्वर्टेड इमेज फाइंड करेंगे तो आइए स्टार्ट करते हैं हम प्रैक्टिकल Here you can see that we got the inverted image but some parallax are there between object and needles. So first we have to remove the parallax between object and image. For that we have to move the object needle forward or backward. So you can see that the parallax is less than a little bit. बैकवर्ड में मूव करा दे जाएंगे और उसको चेक कर दे जाएंगे चेक हमें ऐसे करना है कि हमारे आईज को लेफ्ट और राइट में मूव कराना है अगर दोनों इन्वर्टेड इमेज और ऑब्जेक्ट दोनों साथ में मूव करते हैं दैट मीन्स देर इज़ नो पैरलेक्स अगर दोनों साथ में मूव नहीं करते हैं तो वहाँ पे अभी भी पैरलेक्स अवेलेबल है नाउ यू कैन सी दैट वी गॉट द इन्वर्टेड इमेज ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट and there is no parallax when you move your eyes left and right you can see that both inverted image and object move together so there is no parallax available now we can take the readings here the position of convex lens is 40 
and the position of object needle is 50. So we can mark the convex lens as a optical center which is denoted by O and the position of object needle is F. When we double the focal length we got the 2F. As you know that you get the inverted image on other side of convex lens, we have to mark F and 2F on both side of the convex lens. So here why I am marking both side of the convex lens. Now replace the plane mirror with needle. Now here when we put the object beyond the 2F, get the inverted image between F and 2F. And when you put the object between F and 2F, we get the inverted image beyond the 2F. Now I am going to set the object beyond the 2F at uh, 15. And as you know that we got the inverted image between F and 2F on the other side of convex lens. So I will start moving the image needle backward from F to 2F. यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं मैंने F पर image needle को set किया तो हमें थोड़ा सा parallax यहाँ पे हमको मिल रहा है. So हम अब इमेज नीडल को स्लोली स्लोली बैकवर्ड में मूव कराते हैं उसके इमेज और नीडल के बीच का पैलेस दूर करेंगे अब देख सकते हैं कि जितना मैं इसको बैकवर्ड में मूव करा रहा हूँ दोनों के बीच का पैलेस कम होते जा रहा है बस थोड़ा सा पैलेस और बचा है थोड़ा सा बैकवर्ड में और मूव कर देंगे यस नाउ यू कैन सी दैट देर इज नो पैरलेक्स बिटवीन इन्वर्टेड इमेज एंड इमेज नीडल्स Now we can take the readings. As we know, the position of object needle is 15. Here, the position of image needle is 56. नेक्स्ट रीडिंग के लिए हम ऑब्जेक्ट नीडल को 17 पर सेट कर देते हैं और उसके बाद इन्वर्टेड इमेज फाइंड करने के लिए हम फिर से इमेज नीडल को एप से 2 एप की तरफ बैकवर्ड में मूव करेंगे सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट we got the inverted image on the top of image needle but there is some parallax available between inverted image and image needle so first we have to remove the parallax for that we move the image needle backward Every time when you move the image needle backward, you have to check the parallax between them. We 
यू कैन सी हेयर द पैरलेक्स थोड़ा सा कम हुआ है still there is some parallax between inverted image and image needle so we have to go backward and image needle and check every time Here you can see that I totally removed the parallax between inverted image and image needle. So now we can take the reading. As you know that here the object position is 17 and the image position you can see that is 57. Now we put the object between F and 2F and we know that we get the inverted image beyond the 2F. So I arrange the object needle between F and 2F and we know that we get the inverted image beyond the 2F. So I will start moving backward image needle from 2F. So here you can see that we get the inverted image on the top of image needle but there is some parallax between them so we have to remove the parallax between them Now you can see that we remove the parallax between inverted image and image needle. All time you have to follow the same procedure to remove the parallax. Here the image position is 65.5. Now set the object on other position. I set the object on 25. So to get the inverted image, I will start moving image needle from 2F. So once again you can see here there is some parallax between inverted image and image needle so you know that how to remove parallax between them all time you have to follow same procedure Here we got the perfect inverted image for last reading. So, now we are reading note. Kar lete we know that the position of object needle is 25, and you can see that the position of image is 71.5. So, we complete the whole experiment. Now, we will see the graph. 
here we use the random reading for floating graph using the value of u and v we plot a graph by taking u on x axis and v on y axis we select a suitable scale on x axis 1 cm equal to 5 cm on y axis 1 cm equal to 5 cm origin is 10 10 now let us plot the point on the graph join all the points as you can see the graph considered to be rectangular hyperbola now we draw a straight line from the origin making an angle of 45 degree with both axes this line meets the curve at a point a two perpendicular draw from a on to x and y axis the x and y coordinates of a are same therefore u equal to 21.25 and v equal to 21.25 here u equal to v in the case of convexness when the object is placed at 2f the image is found at 2f therefore u equal to v equal to 2f that is ab equal to ac equal to 2f therefore f equal to ab by 2 that is 21.25 by 2 which is equal to 10.625 cm. One by U, one by V graph convex lens. Using the value of one by U and one by V, our plot A graph by taking one by U value on X axis and one by V value on Y axis. We select a suitable scale on X axis, one centimeter equal to 0.01 per centimeter on y axis 1 cm per group 0.01 per cm now let us plot the point on the graph join the all points as you can see the graph concert to be a straight line the line cuts the both axis at angle of 45 degree here op is equal to 0.092 and oq is equal to 0.092 according to the focal length formula 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon b minus 1 upon u at point P, 1 upon V equal to 0. Therefore, 1 upon F equal to 1 upon U, that is, F equal to 1 upon OP. At point Q, 1 upon U equal to 0. Therefore, 1 upon F equal to 1 upon V, that is, F equal to 1 upon OQ. Therefore, focal length f equal to 1 upon 4 p which is equal to 1 upon 4 q that is 1 upon 0 0.092 that means focal length is 10.869 cm